You know, so furniture placement is really tricky, but especially when you have an elongated rectangular room, because this gives you an opportunity more than it gives you a challenge. You know, most people think like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with it? But really what it's saying to you is that you have zones. You can section spaces off. So it's not just one seating area, you can do two seating areas and you can create a natural transition. You could either do just two groupings of seating where you have like four chairs or you have a sofa and two chairs, or you can create what I really love is kind of this um, fool the eye. You can have a sofa backed by a sofa table in the center and then another sofa on the other side. So in essence, it's creating the two areas for yourself naturally and then flanking one sofa in one direction can be either another sofa or chairs or you can do the two chairs on the other side. You know, you can have fun with it and do two different seating groups. Think about that you're getting two for the price of one. What I love about that is that the table in the center of the two sofas, you can do a really great floral arrangement, you can accessorize it, you can change it out. But just remember, an elongated room, you never wanna feel like it's just one zone and then the rest of it is this big football field. You always wanna fill it up, make it feel warm, and you wanna create conversation areas. And so that'll make people feel really comfortable when they come over and they're using the space, which is really the most important thing that you're really gonna be going after anyway. Thank you.